Hello class, we are now on chapter 6, which is going to be meiosis. We've heard of mitosis, now we have meiosis. After today's lecture, you should be able to contrast the chromosome number of body cells and gametes, and we should be able to contrast meiosis and mitosis. Chromosome number, we're going to talk about that first. Homoanalogous is a cell with two sets of chromosomes. And these chromosomes are going to be the same. We're going to get half of it from the male parent, and half of it from the female parent. Next is diploids. Diploids is a cell that contains sets of homoanalogous chromosomes. So sets meaning two. These ones here are an example of body cells. And the number of chromosomes in that diploid cell is, is represented by 2n. So the chromosome number is actually six. We have one set of blue, one set of green, one set of purple. So if we count them together, we have one, two, three, four, five, six all together. You can just do three times two, which would be six as well. Haploids, okay, are going to be half as much as diploids. Haploid cells are, contains only one set of chromosomes, and we can see it there. We have one green, one purple, and one blue. Gametes are called sex cells, and are represented by N. So haploids are exactly one half of the diploid. Meiosis. Okay, meiosis is a process of reduction in cell division. The number of chromosomes per cell is cut in half. By the separation of homoanalogous chromosomes in a diploid cell. So we're going to first start off with a diploid, and then we're going to go to a haploid through cell division. So let's start off with meiosis 1. First we have interphase 1, and that's when cells undergo a round of DNA replication, forming duplicate chromosomes. We have prophase 1, which each chromosome pairs with the corresponding homoanalogous chromosome from a tetrad. Metaphase 1, spindle fibers attach to the chromosome. Anaphase 1, the, the fibers pull apart the homoanalogous chromosome towards opposite ends of the cell and telophase 1 and cytokinesis where nuclear membranes form and the cell separates into two cells. That looks very, very familiar to mitosis. Next part, we have the crossover, and that's the exchange of alleles between homoanalogous chromosomes. And this occurs in prophase 1. So here's an example. We have a, a Maternal, which would be your father, and a maternal, which would be your mother, and they are going to cross over and exchange alleles. And there is another example. In mitosis 2, the two diploid daughter cells created in mitosis 1 then divide, producing four haploid daughter cells. So here's meiosis 1, and then meiosis 2 starts here. And they start to separate, so we end up with four cells at the end. And here's another example. You can see the crossover there that happens, and then it splits, and then it splits again. And then you're left with the four daughter cells. So here we go, we see the crossover pulling to the side, spindle fibers, cytokinesis, and it does it again. And that's what we're left with. And this is just replaying and replaying and replaying, so you can watch this as many times as you want. See the crossover, cytokinesis, and there we go again. Gamete formation. Okay. Males are, have four equal sized gametes called sperm and females have only one large egg cell which is produced with three polar bodies. So gametes are just the sex cells. We know that males have sperm, females have their eggs. Comparing mitosis and meiosis. Okay. Mitosis produces two genetically identical diploid cells and meiosis produces four genetically different haploid cells. So one produ mitosis produces two, meiosis produces four, mitosis is going to be the same, and meiosis is going to be different. 
This is a great table that I want you to fill out for your notes. And that is all for today. Go ahead and fill out that table. That is your notes that I will be looking at. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.